acids and alkalis in my body. We talked about the saliva is neutral. That's too bad because I always, I've always really wanted to have acid spit. How cool would that be? Just like in Jurassic Park or something like that. That was a very important movie for my, my childhood. Imagine you could spit acid, right? And just, I don't know. I don't know what I'd do with that. But our saliva is neutral. Um, our skin, however, our skin, however, here's a diagram of skin. Look at how amazing that is. Our skin actually produces uh, some acidic materials. So if you actually were to test the pH of your skin, um, it's usually slightly acidic, a little less than neutral. So it between 1 and 7, usually around pH of 5.5. And the reason is to try to inhibit uh, growth of bacteria that's on your body. It doesn't do very well. You have lots of bacteria that's all over your body, trust me. But it prevents it from uh, going too crazy. It kind of keeps it in check. It doesn't let the bacteria get too comfortable, basically. Our stomach contains acid, and the acid inside here is not a weak 5.5. It's a strong 1 to 2, okay, a 1.5. Stomach acid uh, is very important. Primarily, its function, I mean, the food food is where food enters our stomach, but a lot of that food that we eat contains bacteria, and before we allow all that food to kind of get into our bloodstream in the small intestine, um, the stomach actually takes care of a lot of the bacteria, the foreign materials that have entered. And the strong acidic environments of 1.5 actually can do a pretty good job destroying lots of the bacteria. Unfortunately, viruses are a different, different type of uh, beast. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. But the stomach does a pretty good job killing most of the harmful organisms that might enter your body. You might be asking, well, if the stomach acid is so strong, and it's a corrosive material. Why is it? Why is it not just burning, burning holes into my stomach and leaking through my body? And that's because our stomach has a special lining that's present in there. But it's not perfect. There are some people who have some problems with their stomach lining, and then that can actually cause stomach ulcers. And you might have heard of your parents saying something like that. Oh, uh, my ulcer! Ah, uh, it's making me angry. Go clean your room. Something like that. Okay. Ulcers can be problematic. I know that my, some of my family members have suffered from ulcers, and uh, it's not a pleasant thing, let me tell you. The small intestine contains some alkaline fluids. Um, helps to neutralize some of the contents as it's coming from the stomach into the small intestine, ready to be passing through the body to get nutrients, and eventually some stuff is going to leave your body as well. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that, but you can see it on this diagram. He looks really, really happy, by the way. But anyways, that was the quick tour of various acids and alkalis that you can find in your body. See if you can find out other parts of your body that contain acids or alkalis. Have a great day.